Good morning everyone. I am today doing my makeup for the Universal uh, Championships which is on at the Copethorne Hotel and I thought I would walk you guys through it. The last um, makeup tutorial I did I was in a car. Today I have the luxury of being um, in our little Airbnb in London. Um, I've done my hair. This is actually left over from yesterday. Um, we competed yesterday in the Rising Star. Today is the professional event. Um, so I slept in it last night. It's not looking amazing. I will fix it up after I have uh, done my makeup. Um, but today is just the makeup, so let's get to it. First things first, I'm starting with my primer. Um, a lot of the products I'm going to be using today are obviously the same as what I used when I did my makeup tutorial in October, but I will show you as I go. I do have a couple of new products, so I will show you those as we go. So this one's the Hourglass Veil, uh, which is my favourite primer, and I just spread that all over my face. Now my mirror today is down here, so um, I will be looking down a little bit, but hopefully it's a slightly better view than what I had when I was in the car. <laughs> no, a bit obviously anywhere where I'm going to be applying foundation, so to my ears, to my neck. Now this part is always a bit tricky because I obviously have to work a little bit underneath that that hair there. Okay, done. Now, once I do that, I get straight onto my eyebrows. My makeup case is underneath <laughs> my mirror. By the way, I received this mirror um, for Christmas, a gift from my amazing brother and his girlfriend, Katie. Um, and it's amazing. It's got these lights. It's I'm so happy to have it with me and to travel with it. I'm working my eyebrows with this little brush. So this hourglass, uh, other way, <laughs> the hourglass um, pencil basically has both. So it has the brush on one side and this awesome pencil on the other side. So I brush them first. And then I want to create a nice high arch with my pencil. I actually figured out that I have been taking my brow maybe a bit too long, so I'm trying to stop it a little shorter. I know um, this looks like it's quite quite dark, but when I get the rest, these eyebrows look quite dark, but when I get the rest of my makeup on, it will look possibly too light and I'll have to go over them again. So bear with me while I look super strange at the moment. Now I'm gonna work my little concealer. This is running out, but it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in light medium. Upside down, in light medium. Um, I've clearly had it a while. It is time to get a new one. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush over them with. So this is this little hourglass. It seems like everything I have is hourglass. This little hourglass, um, what's it called? Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel is what I use for every day. So when I don't want to line my eyebrows, I use this. But I also, it's just, a, it's just a gel that kind of keeps the eyebrow hairs in place. So that's what I'm going to use now. All right, that's a bit better. Um, and now I'm going to use the dots I've done previously. Oh, it's actually working today. 
um, just dot on. I hope you can see this. Then I use my square brush. MAC 191, this baby, cleaned all my brushes before I came to England, but I've been using them every day since I've got here, so they're not super clean. <laughs> I promise they were. Just like that, you can see it outlines the arch much much better all right beautiful that is my eyebrows now straight onto your eyes so i bought this new palette um right before or before the australian so i bought it because i have a yellow dress hence the yellow nails um and and that's the color of my new ball gown and i needed some yellow eye shadow palettes um to go with it and this one was surprisingly really quite cheap reasonably priced so it's morph and i'd never actually heard of them until i went to get some recommendations at a mecca store in sydney and they recommended this it was 36 dollars australian dollars and look at all the colors it has beautiful golds and yellows that i use over here and then up here it's got those like pinky um pinky hues that i also really love so i think i'll get a little wear out of this palette and it has some blacks which is perfect for dance comp. let's get started on our eyes so i pick the no, I, I don't have that tray on the top that had the color name, so I'm just going to point to them. I think I'm going to start with the, this one. It looks kind of light, so that's quite a nice, nice color to start with. So I'm going to grab some of that and put it all over my eyelid. The thing about these colors is actually um, they they work kind of better when you use your fingers to apply them. I kind of hate that. <laughs> I hate getting my hands dirty while uh, doing my makeup. I think it's just annoying. I would much rather be more precise with a brush than use my fingers and have dirty hands, but I will, when I'm applying the yellow a little later, use my fingers and put it on. So, so I'm using these brushes more and more. Um, my mum bought they're, they're little MAC brushes that she bought in a set. Um, I don't know if I can find them or not. If I, if I can find them, I'll put a link in the description. But there's like a whole set of them. They come with all different types of brushes. And I'm really, really enjoying using them at the moment. This one is uh, 283SE, if that helps anyone I have no idea but you can see it has the fluffy brush on one end and then the kind of flat brush on the other so I use both of them today I'll be using the fluffy brush and I'm going to put in I'm actually I haven't used this one I'm going to try this one put in a slightly darker color into my crease just like that lovely <laughs> these browns and pinky tones really suit the yellow that I'll be using a bit later as you'll see alrighty got some big raccoon eyes <laughs> the first one I'm going to use is this one MAC 219 I wish I did this tutorial when it was clean <laughs> I only did it yesterday so there you go. I'm gonna dig into the where is it? Ah, uh, this one. I think it's this one. So that one is even slightly darker. And again, I'm gonna put it through the crease. You can see that it kind of has a pinky purpley tone to it. Actually, can you see that? But it looks quite nice. I'm just gonna draw that line in there. And try to blend it a little so 
Now remember, I do eventually, after I do my foundation, I will apply um, some eyeshadow to the bottom. So don't worry about any of this that's happening. Now using my smaller pencil, it's the Pro Precision Smudge uh, by Sephora. Um, and this is just a slightly smaller brush. Um, and I'm going to rub my first kind of uh, sparkly one in. So I'm going to use, uh, what colour am I going to use? Actually, I should start start um, putting the gold in. I'm going to put this gold, in, gold into the edge of my eye. So right in here. Start to bring in those goldy yellow colors for my dress. Yeah, this is more of like a bronze type color. I do really like it. All right, we're getting there. These are the two that I'm going to use. I'm going to start with this greeny, more flurry color yellow. And then on the inside of my eye, I'm going to use this really bright yellow. I think that my dress is kind of a combination of the two. Under blue lights, it looks almost fluoro, uh, but in real life, it is this color. So I think um, both of these work quite well. So I'm just going to take my finger on that one. You can see it comes out really beautiful color. And take that onto the top of my eye. See how you just cannot be precise with with this method, but apparently people do it. <laughs> I'm trying. I usually end up blending with brushes after I finish this kind of roughed draft. Wow, it's a beautiful colour. Now onto that second colour. Again, a beautiful colour. And I'm going to use that in here. Oh, such a nice, nice yellow. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm trying to see it while I show it to you, but to you guys. I have got some fallout here, so I'm just going to go wash that off before I do the first lot of my foundation. I'm back. So, Jonathan's just started blow drying his hair. I'm not sure if you can hear him, but he's just reminded me that we are in a rush and I need to get this done ASAP. So, let's get moving. NC42, um, this little MAC foundation is our go to when it comes to comp makeup. Doesn't have an SPF in it, which is perfect because we do not want any white faces in our flash photos, yeah? And again, I'm using this like round brush that I, that was gifted to me by my mom in a uh, little set of round brushes, which I love. I always kind of start on the inner parts of the face and then once I've used a lot of the product, I'll then go to the outside edges and work in because I don't, I don't want it to be too built up and thick on the edges really. So that is my method behind the madness. Contouring. Again, using the Anastasia palette in uh, light. I have to say, it's not... 
I did love it when I first received it. So again, still a, this is still a brush in 22. And I go for the banana yellow color. I did love it when I received it, but I don't know. I do enjoy using the yellow, but the other contouring bits don't work that well all the time. Um, yeah. Have you guys used it? I don't know. I don't know if people are still using it. I'm just trying to get the rest out of mine and then I'll, um, I'll find something else. Okay, it looks lovely and bright under my eyes. Now we've got to do the dark places. We will work that in a little bit more. There we go. So I haven't been using this um, eye brush. What is it? MAC 266 with my eye makeup much anymore. It used to be a popular one. So I've decided to use it a bit more to get that contouring in. And I also use it to fill in my eyebrows so let's do that I'm gonna use this dark one and just outline where I want the dark places the shadows to fall on my nose that's it ah, I'm back using this brush then I will put a little bit on my cheeks making sure I don't do it so I usually go from here to here trying not to take it too close to my mouth but it will extend there okay then again I'm gonna rub that in so I usually use the the edge of the, the sponge for this one just so that the line is a little more blended but still has its structure. into my Laura Mercier translucent powder and the little brush that comes with it. I have to say I'm almost out of this actually, I need to get some more, but it works quite well for what we want. So I will take some of that, dip it in the lid, and place it under my eyes. So that we have that matte finish, there's nothing worse, you don't want to feel sticky on the floor and this will set it all into your skin so you don't sweat it off during the day, huh? And up here, so I basically place it on all of the lighter parts that I've highlighted and then simply blend it in from there with the rest of my face.
Now we want to bring those dark colors back into the face. So we use our bronzer. And that one for me is the other Anastasia palette. This baby contour kit, light to medium. That has a lot of a lot of makeup on the front of it. Um, but yeah, it's very used as well, being very well loved. So I take the yellowy colour, just place a little bit of that under my eyes. I mean that's already quite light now. So that is good. Um and then I grab some brushes for the brush. This one I've these ones I've had forever, so they're like they were again part of like a little Estee Lauder set, I think. Um it's just a nice fluffy brush. And I'm gonna mix these two. And then I'm going to use my Becca, where is it, Becca Opal is the one I've been using as a highlighter, there we go, Becca Opal, and it is this beautiful colour, isn't that lovely, and so I rub that in all those highlight areas, and again it's just this free Mecca brush that I received one of their giveaways so you can see it just gives that shine it might be too bright here actually for you to see it but it gives a beautiful shine add a little bit of this to my eyelids. So right on that brow, I'm going to use this little uh, must have smudge. Uh, 70. I don't know what kind of brush this is. Hmm. Don't you? Alright, great. So let's work those under eyes. We want to bring back the fluffy brush that we had and use that lighter color again straight under the eyes. So I believe it was this one we used. I'm just going to throw that under the eyes so we can link it together. Lovely. So much fuller. Just gonna bring that back in as well. Um, now our pencil brush. We're just basically gonna go over everything. Actually, this is our pencil brush. This is our smudge brush, the very small one. And I'm just going to bring in that gold again because it seems we've got a little bit lost when we were working in the yellow. This one just a bit more of a definitive line to it. I like to be quite dramatic with how my eyes look on the floor. I would definitely blend it more if I was uh, going out or doing it a more subtle makeup look, but for the dance floor, 
you want to be as dramatic as possible so I'm going to work these lines back in actually. Ooh, and we didn't bring any of the gold under the eye so let's just do that before we finish up. Nice. Oh, I've got some in my eye. Fabulous. <laughs> Here we are, we're using this Stilla Waterproof Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. Yeah, can you read that? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, actually there's a magnifying glass on this one, so that's what I <laughs> like to use. Let me try, try using that. Finishes it off, don't you, don't you think? Now I forgot my blush, so let's just apply that one. Big cheesy smile to find my cheekbones. this mascara forever and ever it is Dior Show waterproof and it's fabulous it's definitely stays all day we did a lot of competitions in 2019 and since doing them I've noticed that I've got a lot less eyelashes and I think that is from pulling out these fake eyelashes every time I do a competition the glue pulls one or two eyelashes and that adds up as you have dozens of competitions across a year so I really need to find something better magnetic ones I think but I just haven't got around to it have you guys tried them? if you've tried them please put um, let me know what you think and if you think they're worth getting and if they're any healthier for your eyelashes. Today I'm using this Remy Lashes Ardell. I don't, I've never really heard of them. I just got them from my local chemist. Let me get my glue. Glue is my Duo, which is Duo, the one I, that I use every time I put on my fake lashes. Maybe I need new glue. Maybe it's the glue. I don't know. Definitely need to solve this problem. Don't want to have less eyelashes. Who wants that? Alright, so I had someone in my last video comment saying that they find it quite hard to put on eyelashes. And I used to as well. So the trick really, um, thin layer of glue but slightly bigger dot. Dobs, do, whatever it is, <laughs> slightly bigger um, dobs of glue on either end because that's the part that tends to flick up the most. So that's why I do. And then you have to wait until the glue is quite tacky. So you want to wait just a little bit until um, it's ready to put on. This will be my right eye because that side's thinner. Enough. 
put him on. Probably could have waited a little bit longer, but as I'm in a rush, I'm clearly just going for it. Now the last thing before I go, I think I already said that once, so it must be almost there. I'm going to just slightly darken using this one from my little contour palette, my eyebrows. So they did, remember they did look quite dark before, but we need them to be very defined. With competition makeup, I don't even really mind if my eyebrows don't match my hair colour so much um, because we want to be dramatic and blonde, blonde eyebrows are not dramatic. They're very light, aren't they? Now, a little bit of lippy. I'm actually going to be using a red one when I get there, but before the comp, I'm just going to use this bite one. It is was gifted to me for Christmas by one of my friends and um, it was in a little set so this one's called Good Jujube a very strange name but it is really hydrating and just a nice one to put on as I'm getting to the comp so there you have it that is my look all finished I quite like it, I have to say. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, special thanks to Jonathan, who is the one that will be sitting down and editing this video. Um, I think editing makeup videos are slightly harder than editing vlogs and much less exciting to edit. So thank you to him. And I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you like my yellow um, and I hope it inspires you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for our upcoming videos. Thanks. Bye.